Hi, this is Shana, and this is a pick a card reading on what you need to know right now. And we have three piles pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Pile number one is a purple pink agate. Pile number two is malachite. And pile number three is lapis lazuli. So, make your choice. You may pause the video if you like. And I will start with pile number one. first card is the sun and the second card is the wheel of fortune now what the cards are telling is that your luck is changing so things are going to turn out for the better the sun stands for joy for happiness for good times but also stands for shedding light into a situation you're going to start seeing things clearer in a better light and also in a more positive light if you have been feeling down or sad times are changing and you're going to start feeling better and you're going to see life in a more positive way and even life around you and within you as well um, is changing, is taking a more positive take. Um, and all the events are going to go your way. And if you've been going through rough times, times are changing, light and the sun is coming into your life. And your mind is going to see things clearer again and only positive things are coming your way in the next future so life is taking on a positive turn and you'll be feeling better but let's see what the other cards are saying so this card stands for patience and it takes um patience and time for things to unfold you've probably been waiting for a situation to unfold and that's why for instance we have this pregnant lady here because everything needs time to manifest to gestate like a baby for instance and you've been waiting for a certain situation to unfold probably you've been feeling very impatient about it but the cards are saying things will turn into your favor. You're going to manifest your desires. And here we can see the moon, the moon phases. So it will take a month at the most for you to start seeing the results of what you'd like to manifest into your life for um, the events to turn into a more um, favorable stage right so life is going to get better very soon the latest in one month time so be patient if you're still not seeing um, your intentions um, manifesting and turning to reality give it a bit of more time be patient everything will be fine and life will turn more beautiful so you'll be feeling full of light in your heart. Then we have a last message. And this is relinquish self-importance. Don't take anything personally. There's another message here. Personal importance or taking things personally is the maximum expression of selfishness because we make the assumption that everything is about me. 
Well, I personally find this message somewhat harsh. Yeah, because, well, it is easy to take things personal. And you know why? Because you're a person. So, and you relate to what's happening around you in an emotional way. But what the card is trying to say, I believe, and that's how I interpret it, is that don't be sad. I don't think that the universe is taking on, taking out on you personally if things are not going your way immediately, right? Or if it has been taking a long time for you to see the results. It has nothing to do with you. The universe sometimes has to put uh, many pieces together, you know, in order for your manifestation to come true. And the biggest piece to put together is yourself, because you have to come into that vibration of receiving. And the easiest and quickest way to come into that vibration is feeling joy. And this feeling is coming to your life really soon. And the moment you start feeling joy and uh, having fun in your life and with life as well, then things, the wheel starts turning and all the good things will start to manifest. So be patient, don't take it personally, and everything will be all right. So thank you so much. And thank you to all that have been watching, commenting, and liking my videos. That means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Have a great time. Now, pile number two. It's a beautiful stone. Looks like a river in a beautiful landscape, like Earth like our beautiful planets seen from above. Really beautiful. Now, so first card, we have the devil. And then second card, the fool. Now, here we have two possibilities. And one of them is that you have been obsessing with something, right? You've been obsessing with something, be it a problem, a worry, or even a person, like a, a love interest, a crush. And uh, you've been obsessing about it, and this probably may have led you to behave like a fool, but don't take this personally. I'm just, you know, sometimes we do foolish things when we're obsessing about someone or we're so worried that we cannot see clearly. But the other message here you know, with these cards is that this, what has been obsessing you, well, it is time to break free, to take the leap of faith and go another way, be courageous about it. Be inspired and just try another way of living your life, uh, coming to self-empowerment and sh just, you know, starting to enjoy life, to be curious about life. Because this obsession, put it like that, or uh, worry, it has, um, you know, being a burden to you. So it feels quite heavy. And... Uh, it's time to break free from that. It's time to go in another direction because you need to free yourself from these chains, from these fears, from these doubts, from this um, lack of belief that everything will be fine, lack of belief that the universe has your back because the universe always has your back. You just have to trust and like the fool let go. So it is time to let go of all of this and trust life again. Let's see what the next card says. Well, it's time to party and celebrate. 
because one of the ways, you know, of getting back into the joys of life is celebrating, is getting together with like-minded people and, you know, starting to feel joy in life again. And you see, these people are happy. They're dancing in the rain, enjoying themselves, celebrating life, celebrating their bodies, you know. You know, and the, the best way to let go of fear is laughing. Laughter heals all wounds. Laughter, joy makes you feel lighter and makes you feel alive. And this is what you need to be a bit foolish and start celebrating and, you know, take life with open arms and say yes to what you are, say yes to who you are, say yes to your situation. Yes, it can come with a lot of fear. Yes, it can sometimes be a burden. But if you say yes to it and celebrate every bit of it, this burden will fade away slowly. And what you have is a love for taking risks and celebrate life and celebrate who you are and with other people. So this is a beautiful message. The time of fear and of bondage and of chains is fading away because you're starting to enjoy life again, right? You're starting to feel empowered again, and this is really important. So yes, if you have a chance, go out and celebrate, meet your friends, have fun, you know, dance in the rain, just laugh at life and with life and life would laugh with you because life is fun and people are great. Just enjoy it. Get into this vibe. Let's see what the next card, the last card is saying. So it's again, don't take anything personally. Ignore the opinion of others. So, whatever people do, feel, think, or say, don't take it personally. Others are going to have their own opinion according to their belief system. So, whatever they think about you is not about you, but it is about them. So, this actually mirrors a core belief of mine, because I really believe their opinions they say a lot more about the people that express them than about the object themselves. So it's exactly this. So it's not about you, it's about them. So let people believe, think, or say what they will, you know, be come into this careless mode. So it can be that the devil here, the chains that are uh, bringing you down, is the opinion of others, probably some uh, toxic relationships, be it friendships, be it love affairs, you know, because one of the easiest way of uh, ma manipulating other people and one of the ugliest ways as well is putting people down. You know, if you feel down like this figure here, if you feel down, if you feel sad, um, if you do not feel acknowledged or valued, then you're very easy to manipulate. And some people use this in order to keep you quiet, to keep you down. But you weren't born to be kept down. You were born to shine your light and share it with the world. So the devil here is just warning you, be careful with the company you keep. Be careful with the people you have around you, because if they're bringing you down, just let go of them and ignore their opinions, because their opinions do not make who you are. Only you know who you are and why you do what you do. And you are very valuable for the world. You're very valuable for the universe. So keep your light shining and like in some cultures, we say the dogs bark, but the caravan will pass. So again, celebrate life, go out, have fun, and you'll find like-minded people that just like you, they just want to share their light. So 
Thank you so much. I hope it resonated with you. And thank you to all who have been watching, commenting, and liking my videos. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. Now, the last pile, pile number three. And here we have Lapis Lazuli again. There you go. And let's see the first two cards. Here we have Justice. And then we have the Empress. So, you're in a situation in your life where something is being balanced out, where the truth of a situation is coming out. And um, maybe there's also a situation where you've been treated unfairly and you're waiting for the result of a situation, right? Where the future, be it of your job, be it of a love relationship, be it in even legal matters, you're waiting on the result of the situation, right? And um, usually justice is very neutral, you know, and if you believe in karma, so if you have been a good person with a good heart, good karma will come to you. And if you haven't been that good of a person and your intentions haven't been pure, then not so good karma will come to you too. So this is what is believed. But the thing is here, you're waiting for um, the result of a problem or solution of a problem is like someone has now power over a situation, someone outside um, your influence. So there's hardly a thing you can do to influence the result of the situation. You just have to wait for others to decide of how the situation will unfold. And it's a situation that is not very pleasant to be in because we like to have power over our own lives. Um, but here we have the Empress. And the Empress first is um, practically promising a good result because the Empress is very giving, is very nurturing and protecting. So the Empress is here to tell you you're being protected by mother nature put it that way by the holy mother so you've been you're being protected and what the empress is also telling you here is stay centered in your own integrity stay centered in your own truth in your own value don't get carried away by fear or by the probable intentions of other people. Don't get carried away by negative thoughts and feelings. Stand your ground. Look like she looks like a warrior here. Stand your ground. Stand in your power. Exactly. Look at her. Stand in your power and face the situation with integrity, you know. And even if you're feeling fearful don't let other people notice it you know stand above the situation and try not to let it get into your heart the empress is here to tell you that you're protected so trust her protection and stay strong, stay with a positive attitude, stay with a strong and open heart. And even if someone is being unjust towards you, stay with an open heart, with a loving heart towards this person or towards these people. Because justice will be done. And I have a strong feeling that will be done in your favor. So this situation will turn into your favor so relax, let go of fear, and trust the Empress, trust the, whole mo the Holy Mother, right? So let's see what the other cards are saying. Just a second. 
So we have here harmony. So here we have a heart connected to these dolphins, right? Dolphin in, dolphins are usually connected with joy, with spirituality, with uh, positivity. So what this card is saying is to connect your heart with this energy, you know? If you're feeling fearful or not trusting, go into your heart, go to the energy of your heart and fill your heart with positivity, fill your heart with joy, you know? A good way of getting into this energy is meditating. If it's just for a couple of minutes, relax. Get into a, a situation of a relaxation where you can let go of any tension, let go of any fear. And remember, the Empress has your back so that you can face the situation with integrity and you can face the situation with ease because you are safe. You are being taken care of. You are being protected. Be it by the universe, by God, by your uh, spiritual guides. Whatever you believe in, whatever is easier for you to connect with, whatever you want to call it. But love is with you. And look, here even the justice card is looking actually with a very caring uh, attitude, with a very caring face. She has the sword of truth, so the truth will come out and things will come out in your favor because if you have been done wrong, this wrong will be corrected and in your favor. Trust the Empress, the Mother Goddess, and trust your heart. So go to the energy of your heart and let go of fear. You will be all right. And we still have one last card. And this is stay in the present moment. Always do your best. It's a beautiful card. So stay in the present moment. Let go of worry, of fear, because that's all in the future. Stay in the present moment and relax in the knowledge that you're safe, that you're loved and you're being protected. And here we say, keep your attention on today and stay in the present moment. This is the beginning of a new understanding, a new dream. So this is a beautiful, beautiful message. So open your heart and let go of fear, and let hope come in. This is the beginning of a new understanding, a new dream. So probably the situation is bringing you a new understanding, and also more harmony and balance into your life, because you can understand both sides of the situation. And remember, the Goddess Mother has your back. So trust the Goddess Mother, trust your heart and stay in the present moment. Everything will be all right. So thank you so much. I hope it resonated with you and that it inspired you. And thank you to all that have been watching, liking and commenting my videos. It means a lot to me. So thank you so much and have a great time.